The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The New Media Zone! With your host, This week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the poster pair name. And now your host, Ed and Dave. Hello and welcome to the new media zone. And Dave oh, it, here. It does say new. And Dave with you. I never, I didn't notice that. Well, during the f- several hours I've been down here uh, checking out the new digs, Ed. The new Media Zone set here. That was very exciting. It got rave <laughs> reviews from the producer, except the Muslim in the back. The what? Uh, the Muslim. No, the A Muslim. Muslim. You gotta be careful. This is the actually the old thing that we used to have in the back. Okay. It, except apparently it was painted, I think. It was dyed like gray, of gray. And, and then it was painted because I took it down to the, I wasn't going to wash it in my washer. I took it down to the pay wash, the laundry mat they call <laughs> so it. So you could think. ruin one of their machines. And, and so I would ruin that one. Yeah. And then I dyed it in a big dye bath. I wanted to get the blue without the blue lights on it because that gave us some problems in the uh, editing. But... Um, you know what's I, giving me a problem right now? What's that? Because I see blue lights in my back of my lenses here. <laughs> It's kind of distracting. Oh. So this is called a what? Muslim. A Muslim. That's what... Uh, I don't think Trump would like this. <laughs> That's what the photographers use oh. back there. Is it spelled the same? Uh, no. Oh. Is it? Muslim. Mu- mu- Muslim. I don't know. All right. We'll have to look this up. Uh, so uh, g- give us, uh, uh, you know, if we have problems here. There might be a few problems. Uh, hopefully everything has been tested. The lighting is kind of on point here. Uh, we have the new, uh, every Cable 2000 production must have lighting in the front. So we have oh, the, the <laughs> they're LED lights now. They're not regular bulbs anymore. And this was the only one I found on Amazon that said the blue lights actually look blue because people were saying they look purple. A uh, very cheap China one. So we got a cheap nice... Cheap <laughs> China one. <laughs> there are some cheap things to be oh. found on uh, Amazon. Oh. So did you have a nice... We had a, like a three-month break. We day. had a hiatus. Usually we would do that about now. At the end of the summer, we'd show some classic episodes. But we did it because uh, we have the new sets in a new location. And boy, it was a bitch to put together for me. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't bad. The man at uh, Home Depot cut the top in the front for us. Oh, that's nice. That was nice of him. Uh, okay. And nice I had to this. put the frame together. Did we have a, a piece of wood in front of the set last time, producer? Right under here? I think there was some kind of support. Yeah, cause, cause I, yeah I needed that. Uh, okay. th- there will be nobody on top of the desk uh, making love to it or anything oh. like the former. <laughs> I can't believe the thing held up. Well, I, I, well, how would we know, Ed? This is this is you know a, a private residence. We don't know what's going on <laughs> down here when we're not around. Uh, no, but it's funny because we it's a smaller setting, but basically the same thing we had there, but we had more space around right. us. We right. have more space down this end. Yeah, I think this might be actually a little bit less of a fire hazard. <laughs> We don't and the myriad and literally miles of wires that we had at the old location. Yeah, most of the wires are running. I'm controlling all the wires, and I control the horizontal and vertical also. See, we can... Uh, I'm. Whoops. You know what I forgot to do? This reminds me. It might be a good time to show people how they do this. I shouldn't be playing with the lighting uh-huh. oh. while I'm doing this, but... Uh, uh, oh, you white need balance. to white balance, which I didn't do earlier on. And just to... It makes the whites white... And uh, balances the colors out, so I don't have to play around with them as much, hopefully, in the editor. 
We also oh. have our microphones running directly from us, Dave. Oh, that's always a Only nice. through a splitter and then right into the camera because last time the microphones ran into a camcorder. And then I think they even went through a, some kind of old uh, VCR, right? And then into the mixer. And what was the purpose of that? <laughs> to like be able to make a copy in case something went wrong? No, that's the only way you can get it to work. Oh, well. <laughs> Why aren't that was the only way it worked. Well, it worked. It worked for what? How many years? 30 oh. plus, right? 85? I don't know if we were running things through the, uh, the uh, camcorder oh. the whole time. I don't know. Early well, on, I think we went directly. We ha didn't have microphones. Could that be a possibility? We were just using the, the microphone from the camera. At times. At times. Wow. I just want to make it perfectly clear. I did nothing. I didn't do anything down here. I didn't build nothing. I never came down here. To help. I didn't help at all. Because if I did, that would not be me. You brought the paper in, which for some I didn't reason bring the we're in. getting. They're just throwing that out. I didn't know. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know people still read a newspaper. No, they don't. They just throw it out. So you're there. not going to read that paper? I'm going to take the ads out of it. You can take I'll it I'll take the want. paper. Okay. I like to do the puzzles to save me from getting dementia. You used to do that on Sundays, right? You'd take yes. the paper in. You do the paper and you look at the crosswords. You do that. And, uh, you know, your Sudoku or so whatever you call it. And the jumble. Kind of mm. like what I do at work every morning. <laughs> oh. Yeah, since uh, the last show we taped on the old set was one day after I had retired, okay. if you remember. Right. And now it's like three months later. And uh, I did do some things, mainly outside. I had to get the back done because we had the pool removed, remember? Yes. And then it was either that and then this. And that, that was about it. I've done in three months so far. And now you're bored. Do you want to go back to work? I'm not bored. And as you saw on the way in, I have many things to do and I have to do in sorts. Not until you're 80. It's just not going to work. <laughs> and also, another fun thing we're going to have on the new Media Zone. <laughs> this is a stack of uh, DVDs over here. <laughs> okay. A whole stack of ones that I have on Blu-ray. So these are pretty much worthless now to me. And, oh, um, why is that? Blu-ray is no, no longer any good? Blu-ray is good, yes, but the DVDs. These are DVDs. Oh, DVDs, because I don't have a Blu-ray. What do you have? You I have just a have a DVD, okay, well, which I don't use. This is just perfect for you. <laughs> okay. There may be one in here that you would want to watch. Okay, maybe. And if we have time... Oh, I already we... see one. What's that? I want the unrated Gia yep. for all the graphic... Uh, Angelina Jolie nudity. Oh, that's in here. Where she walks in the hallway with her, <laughs> with her Merkin out and everything. Uh, there was no Merkin at that time. No, this is all her. Yeah, this is, uh, so we'll take out a DVD, and the game is we're going to see if Dave uh, wants it for his collection. <laughs> his collection <laughs> My of... My collection uh, of nothing. Of one or so. Uh, and just, just uh, the local ones you gave me that were made. <laughs> <laughs> Major copies I of what? I think I still have those. Creeping, crawling, yeah. and... So you want you would take uh, Gia? I think I might take that. An unrated, okay. So we'll talk about Gia like we just did, and okay. there was a lot of nudity in that that we all enjoyed on HBO. And or then, I could just give it back to you and go online and watch the nudity, just the nudity. Uh, what on Mr. Skin or Whatever. something? Yeah, I can buy. But I'll take it. You should take that right. for your collection. All right, I'll start my collection with Gia. All right, we're uh, almost ten minutes in uh -oh. here, and we haven't gotten yet to what we do. And we should tell the folks who haven't seen the Media Zone over the past 30 years uh, what we do here, Dave. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're the main reason we're still doing this. I am not the main reason. You wanted to keep going. You and said that, you would be willing to do it. I, I said did. I would do it if you would do it. Okay, uh, and then you said, well, I will do it if you'll do it. Right. So I think it's a 50-50 proposition here. It is, I guess. So it, it, Or, uh, or... I didn't have to do it, and you could drag your brother back down. <laughs> I don't know what... Uh, he's very busy these days okay. with uh, young children, so it's you. <laughs> you I'm very busy with my uh, other job. All you know, right, you're working at all hours oh. at uh, Ollie's. One o'clock in the morning. Oh. Uh, let's uh, okay. get to it here. You're going to start because I have to operate the clips over here now. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, So I don't look into any camera at this point. No, because I can't. I'm reading. We will go to clip. Is this a legitimate go to clip? Are you got clips set up? I have clips set up. So we're gonna watch a clip. Yeah, I yes. know how this works. I'm we're just gonna, gonna watch it down here on this uh, 1988 monitor, okay. which I saw in the back, and you're gonna watch a nice 
HD copy at home. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. First movie, Teen Titans Go to okay. the Movies. First, I have to aim the remote at the <laughs> DVD player. <laughs> there there we, we go. go. All right. Uh, when the Teen Titans go to the big screen, they go big. Teen Titans Go to the Movies finds our egocentric, wildly satirical superheroes in their first feature film, Extravaganza, a fresh, gleefully clever, kid-appropriately crass, and tongue-in-cheek play on the superhero genre, complete with musical numbers. Is, is there such a thing as kid-friendly and crass? I don't know. It seems to the teens that all the major superheroes out there are starring in their own movies Everyone but the Teen Titans, that is. But de facto leader Robin is determined to remedy the situation and be seen as a star instead of a sidekick. If only they could get the hottest Hollywood film director to notice them. With a few madcap ideas and a song in their heart, Ed, the Teen Titans head to Tinseltown, certain to pull off their dream. But when the group is radically misdirected by a seriously supervillain and his maniacal plan to take over the Earth, things go awry. Rated PG for action and rude humor. My God, that was a long read. Uh, yeah, you notice I didn't have enough time to cut those down. No, because you're not at work anymore. No, a lot of the, <laughs> well, you the, had more time. A lot of the work on those were done at work oh. on break times and things, of course. Yeah, sure. Uh, do kids go to see, uh, you know, for $14 or whatever it is now? Uh, Something um, they can see for free on Cartoon uh, Network? Right, and it's just regularly animated. It's not CGI or anything? I don't know. I, I, I do not know, as my offspring are uh, a little older now. They don't watch uh, uh, no, Teen Titans? I think as, as nerdy as they get is the video games and uh, comic Cons. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Which uh, I still don't understand. I tell you, I found a video, a James Bond video game up there uh, for the PlayStation 3, because uh -huh. that's what I have now. And I started playing it, and I, you know, they have the music, and you get to shoot things. But I, I keep getting shot <laughs> and lose my, you know, uh, your life. my life. Your, and your even lines. though I'm on the, the basic setting where you're, you know... You survive longer, and I'm knocked out in five minutes. I don't see the fun of it. <laughs> I just want to walk through the little lands and see what's going on. I guess you have to be pretty good at that, though. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Uh-oh, you have to stop okay. that before the next one starts? Uh-oh. Okay, there. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, I wasn't sure. We went three seconds into that one. That's not bad. All right, that's good. What are we doing now? Am I, am I, am I moving along to the next one? Uh, I can, I'll read the third one. You read the I'll, third I'll give one. it one more chance to get this down. And then I think I can do it and then read at the same time. Ooh. Multitasking. Ready? Ready. Our house. In the middle of the uh -huh. <laughs> Stars Thomas Mann, Nicola Peltz, and Percy Hines White. When his parents are killed in a car accident, science whiz Ethan must leave behind college years and his girlfriend to care for his younger brother and sister. By day, he juggles the responsibility of raising two kids. By night, he tinkers in the garage on an invention he hopes will change the world. A machine that can generate wireless electricity. He gets more than he bargained for, however, when the device awakens the dead souls that haunt the house. Not no, rated. There's no rating listed. You did not put it on there. I'm going to go with at least PG-13. Right. I think that's what they tend to do now. Unless it's, uh, you know, super gory and such, they're going to try and get it a PG-13. I saw Jaws was on a few times uh, recently. Right. And I uh, watched it and I'm with my, my uh, girlfriend and her kids. I made them sit and watch it. And then I proceeded to say every line before it happened. Oh no! They were very thrilled. With was that. that their first time watching? That it? was their and first you, time. You they never spoiled it with your. Uh... Well, they were kind of mm -hmm. laughing at the shark, and I said, "Damn you, children! It's uh, uh, forty some mm -hmm. years ago. This is this is pretty good for forty three, mm -hmm. forty four years ago." I said, "Just enjoy the film. You be quiet and sit there, and enjoy the film." Uh oh! Whoops! Uh oh! Uh oh! You hit the right button there. I'll tell you one thing. I these are uh, nineteen eighty. <laughs> A battery still in there. We got to get some new batteries in the. Uh, or I could just kind of reach over here where I could, can't quite see which one is. 
<laughs> pause button. Uh, so uh, oh. we'll work all these bugs out. Well, no, we won't. And because, Dave, we are not taping a show for a DVD anymore where we would have to do the show all the way through uh -huh. and not say any dirty words. Oh, we can... We can... This will be edited after where oh. it can be cut if you slip out with a dirty word. Oh. You've done it on occasion. Oh, should I do it now? <laughs> not, well, we could. I was going to stream this show live, uh, but uh, that was... a. Uh, a bad idea. So we're not making a DVD? No. Were well, we making a DVD at the end still? I, and I think right when we stopped taping the show, that's when they cut it off, and now we have to send a everything digitally? Digital copy to uh, oh. Rochester, I believe, which I couldn't do. Rochester. The FileZilla site we were supposed to use. Uh -huh. I had the guy from there on my computer for an hour trying to figure out what the firewall was that I couldn't get through. Oh. So now uh, the folks at uh, Proctor's are sending it on for us. So oh. I want to thank all the folks at Proctor's who are sending the show to Rochester and also for airing the show uh, at Proctor's. And uh, sometime uh, maybe we'll pay a visit and appear on the Aunt Perillo show. Because I have not seen where they shoot their show down there. I wonder if they have a setup like this here. <laughs> one can only hope. <laughs> All right, we have to do... Uh, Are you going for this one? You're going to try it? Mission Impossible. All I have to do, and I won't mention this on other shows because it'll be cut in. But okay. on the, the first show where it's fun to see the production and how we try to figure things out, I'm going to do that. See, when I edit it together later, this will be maybe cut through. It's very technological. Mission Impossible Fallout with Tom Cruise, Ving Rhames. <laughs> That's the story I'll go into in a minute. Alec Baldwin. The best intentions often come back to haunt you. Mission Impossible Fallout finds Ethan Hunt and his IMF team, along with some familiar allies in a race against time, after a mission gone wrong. Henry Cavill, Angela Bassett, and Vanessa Kirby also join the dynamic cast with filmmaker Christopher McQuarrie returning to the helm. Well done, Ed. I did see a review already and it said this is not only the best film of the Mission Impossible series, mm -hmm. it's one of the best action films of all time. Of all time. Of all time. <laughs> of all time. With That's Tom Cruise. With Tom Cruise. No. I'll never see it. <laughs> the only reason I went to see the other one, because they were hyping up the fact that he was really hanging on a plane. Who cares? Who cares if he hangs on a plane? <laughs> and then we went in there, and it was three years ago, and we might do this again, hopefully at the wrong, uh, you know, right time. They brought in a bunch of clients, they call them these days. They, we call them something else in the 70s. But the oh. special, special clients were wheeled in, <laughs> into the front, and during the exciting scenes oh, when no. Tom Cruise was hanging off the no. plane. No, don't we, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We heard various don't noises. I won't do the noises <laughs> that we heard. But it was uh, apparently too tense. For the clients, and they were wheeled out immediately before the credits even started. Why do they call them clients? I don't. What is this? What is going on in this world? Customers, sometimes they call them, or clients. They're it's clients. A, you know, a politically correct world we are right. in now. We can't call them uh, what we called them in the 70s. <laughs> and what was an official title then, by the way, and earlier? That's right. All I know is, after we get done with this show, I'm going out and having me some Papa John's pizza. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can hit stop on the buttons now because oh, yeah. our DVD releases are printed out this time. Oh, Because where? I wasn't sure we were going to have a visual. Over here, I'll bring them out okay. in a moment. I guess I get, yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, we have some deaths. We'll do that later. But this time we are doing... Our DVD releases, okay. which you're going to see at home in nice, bright HD. Okay. We're I, feel, gonna see I feel like this is like a Jurassic Park film where I have to pretend that I'm 
<laughs> I'm acting to something. So now I have to pretend I'm seeing the DVD releases. <laughs> right. Which we, I used to see before. We used to, we'll right. see them again next time when I have more time to in production. All right. This time I had production and building this set we're sitting at right now. More so. time in production? <laughs> How many months were we off? Couldn't you have pushed it off another two weeks? <laughs> Three months. Well, we could get, uh, uh, producer couldn't do it next week. I want the producer here for the oh. first uh, taping. All right. Because he told me how to format these discs that I, I didn't know how to do. And other things like where to start the clock. He's helping us out with. And the lighting. I know how you start the clock. There's this little button. You just click. Yeah, but I didn't know how where we set it. Because, you know, only a few months ago we learned that when the right. thing went off, we still have 30 seconds. Right. We didn't know that before. We didn't. That's a, that's a production secret that we didn't really need to know. <laughs> no. But, but now we, we do. Now we need to well, know. Well, you this. do. Yes. I don't need to know. Dave comes in for two hours. And leaves. At 10.30 on a Sunday because he has a busy day planned of mm. doing things and then working later on. That is correct. So uh, that's why we, and actually it is, we should tape at 10.30 uh, at this uh, time in the summer because already as I peeked, poked my head out the door, <laughs> it was a little vile out there already, it wasn't was, it? It uh, was getting a little muggy. Yeah, and we don't have our air on while we tape. Although if we put it on low, you probably wouldn't pick it up because I heard it had it on high as testing out and you heard a little bit. I'm very comfortable. You're okay. I'm okay. You remember what happened though when I got? Oh, high, I know. Uh, you were you got you know. your pants yourself is what you did. <laughs> I had the deep pants, yes. even with my shorts on. It's, it's still. Yeah, my pants are. I was pants. It's still. It was uh, early in the spring. <laughs> something I don't care to revisit. But go ahead with your DVD. Releases. All right, DVD releases. First one we have, Dave, is Ready Player One. That looked awful to me. Which I just I saw in the theater not that long ago. And it was okay. It wasn't one of the best of the Spielberg films. This is the one where you saw all the little characters. Oh, right, the right. The video game characters and Chucky and King Kong were all in there. And not much longer than we saw in the trailer, really. But uh, it did have its moments. I might, wouldn't know. Might want to see that on, uh, you know. No. <laughs> Uh, Supergirl. Oh, is it the whole series? It, this is the movie with Helen... Oh, there's a movie? Oh, the old one. From yeah. like the 80s? 84. Okay. What was it? Helen... Helen Slater? Slater. I just wanted to say Shaver. Ooh. But maybe <laughs> that's just what I wanted to do in the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of yarn. <laughs> a lot of yarn was down there. <laughs> uh, she was in uh, Secret of My Success with Michael J. Fox. Yes. Very, kind of a tall woman. Or was she just seemed tall because Michael J. Fox is so short? I don't remember her being tall. I just remember, bow, bow, right. oh, yeah. <laughs> through the whole thing. And we have Beyond Reanimator. Oh, the first Reanimator was good. Do you know I have pictures down here you can look at? Where I know. I don't want to look at the pictures. I want to pretend... <laughs> Then I'm watching the TV screen like I did before. I want to keep everything the same as I did before. Okay. I don't want to look at the pictures. I, I want to be surprised at what's coming up. Okay. Even though right now I'm not on camera. Yeah. But I want to be surprised at what's coming up. That's why I'm not looking at the paper. Okay. Don't give me a hard time, man. I won't this come back. Was, this was... Uh... I've had a hard enough time getting down the street in the first place. Well, you can go the other way. That Go the way, the back way that you didn't usually go, probably. It'll change How you. do you know? I usually enjoy the back way. <laughs> I'm still not on camera. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And let's see. Tiger by the Tail, which what is I've that? never heard of. It's got uh, Christopher George, Tippi Hedren. Oh, introducing Charo. Oh, Gucci, Gucci. I think I mainly I looked at it first because I like this 60s art they did on the posters. But then I saw introducing Charo, who's a very young 70, I think now. Or that's what she's saying anyway. She's a young 70? Gucci Gucci. She was on Dancing with the Stars or something. Really? She didn't look all that bad, really. Of course, there's a lot of hair and how things. Is that, how, is that, how is she, <laughs> under any possible description, a star? <laughs> Can't they change the show to Dancing <laughs> with the has just to make it more realistic? She was, uh, you know, on many Love Boat episodes. And back at... Squares. Hollywood Squares. Oh, yeah. And back in my day, a season was, you know, you did a season. Of, and then the next year, another season started. Now they have two seasons. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, this, we're in our 24th yeah. season. Thinking, oh, this show's been on 24 years. No, it's only been on 12 because they do two seasons mm -hmm. in one year. It's very confusing to my, my uh, 
lack of intellect. This year they only did a four week sports one because uh, I think they had to get the Bachelorette in there oh, early or God. something. More crap I don't watch. All right, it is the time now, Dave. Oh, I, I don't know how to do this. Is this is all new. now? I believe you can reach the board from your seat. I can because I'm not getting. But up. you see, there's a little extension on here. Don't no. put too much weight on that right now. Because this thing, <laughs> yes, because that was attached to the seat that the producer is sitting on, and it's uh, lacking one connection. Oh god, it's still pretty sturdy. But I'm going to put a board <laughs> under there. <laughs> I'm. I, I just want to let you know. It, I'm at my all-time high at weight-wise, so uh -huh. I'm not putting any weight on this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm. Can I'm well over 200 pounds. Reach now. what's needed. All right. So what are we doing? So you do this part now. I'm going to take do over this for part. me. Oh, this is so different. <laughs> We're just flipping things because there is more room for the board right. on your side. Okay. Then. And was... until a couple days ago, this seat was still in there, but it the it didn't look right. It wasn't even, so I had to take that off oh. and put the board over. I, I wish I had been adequately warned of all the changing of uh, activities. <laughs> now this is just this is really throwing me. But go ahead. Okay. Oh, it's Pamela Barr Harder. We don't have the wheel. That's another uh, addition to the new media zone. Is the removal of the wheel? <laughs> the removal of the wheel. We just don't have space for it down here. Okay. So you're lucky you're getting a, a game at all because the game was going to be dropped. <laughs> That's right. And because the producer ordered $300 worth of tickets, I think it was, <laughs> before we shut down the other thing because one person won, I think. Game. <laughs> <laughs> because of Dave's ah, antics and he was shut playing, up, you're a millionaire. <laughs> playing with the board over there. I'll give you five bucks. Uh, <laughs> so no longer will, do you have to write down spin the wheel on your entry. Okay. We'll All right. So Pamela Barr Harder picks one and six. The one's going to be okay, but you're going to have to stretch for the six. Oh, I think I can handle you it. You can handle it? I okay. might do six first. Okay. I think I'm going to. Ready? Are we ready? <laughs> do we have dramatic music? It looks further from here. It does. It's not that bad, Ed. There you go. And we have Psycho three and a half. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. And it's going to be very dramatic. It's going to go slow. Boom. Oh. Do we have that music? Yeah, put music That reminds me, music will be added. Okay. So just pretend there's exciting music going on. Or sad music <laughs> in this case. I'll have to see. The, did I get the audio? Things or you have I those? I didn't want them, so they were all trash. What okay, happened? I'll find what? new exciting audio. Oh, he wants me to turn all of them. That's right, I forgot. Oh, I'll just do it like this because they're <laughs> apparently all stuck together. There you go. I tried to tighten them all, and we're, we're not quite <laughs> quite there yet. These are some of the kinks that will be worked out in between. The By the way, the kinks are getting back together all right, for a new album. But there you go. There's that. Can you see what that is, people? There you go. It's good yeah, enough. They're all there. How's the bottom? A little stiffer down there? Oh, it's always stiff. Okay, we got to tighten the top. I think it's awful tight. I think that's the problem. It's too, it's too tight. <laughs> they're all going at the same time. I think it's the sides, I, the end pieces I got to tighten. All right, you do that. All right, I'll try and... Uh... Ah, the hell with it. Okay, we uh, are at the end of the first new media zone. Can you Are we believe? giving our address? Is the we, email? Yes. You have it right next to you Do for I? now. This and is what we're doing? We we're may not, bring Kong back Aren't you going to put Kong on? We may bring Kong, but I had this sitting there, so that's our original All right. way back. All right, if you want to enter, it's media zone. 95, right? Right. At gmail.com. That's media zone 95, gmail.com. Send in. An email with two numbers to see if you can win two free movie passes. And don't write spin the wheel. Well, you can write spin the wheel. We're just not going to do it. But there you go. Right. Mediazone95gmail.com. Two numbers from one to six. If they match, you win two free movie passes. Uh, when, Until they run out. When, yeah, I was just going to say, when Cable 2000 runs out of this run of tickets, <laughs> the game will be removed. Well, if we have like a couple hundred of them, that could be a long time before you get rid of them all. Yeah. If they, even if someone wins every week, if we have 300, that's a lot. Because it's only two now, not a chance for 10, because that would bust the uh, mm -hmm. Cable 2000 mm -hmm. budget. I think it was Dave's fault. What was that? It's Dave's fault. Thank you, by my ticket. <laughs> that's right. Uh, we have only a few seconds left. Now, I, was, I had a lovely gift, a uh, housewarming gift to give you. We're going to have to do that on the next show, Dave. I've been in my house for several years, Ed. <laughs> well, this house. The Media's own house. Oh, a lovely okay. gift. 
That's something to look forward to next time. I think it's a pop figure. <laughs> it just has that pop figure box. It, it does look. look like that box, right? All right. Uh, next time, uh, we didn't have too many cakes tonight. Good night, but, everybody. Uh, we'll work them out for next time. And we're out. The New Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.